up into my top 10 Pokemon games. So let's get this started. In 10th place, it is the one and only Pokemon trading cards. Yes, it is. So for anybody who loved the actual trading cards, it was a bonus to have the portable version to carry around with you. Yes, on your Game Boy. I absolutely love Pokemon trading cards. I love all types of trading cards in anything. So it was right up my alley. So that is that definitely made my top 10. At number 9, it is, of course, Pokemon Pinball. Best game ever, right? Well, not ever. Obviously, not. it's not number 1 on my list. But, yeah, Pinball and Pokemon with Pikachu on the front. I don't know what gets better than that. It's like, you know, you're doing the Pinball and you're getting points and you're catching Pokemon. Pokemon are evolving and... <gasps> Love, love of a game, it really is. At number eight, I have Pokemon Emerald. Yes, Pokemon Emerald. I love Pokemon Emerald. I've only played it twice. I've literally only played it through twice, and I started it for the first time last year, and I love it. Oh my god, and I've since, I've since played all other versions, you know, and I just love the fact that it's a little bit more difficult than the other games. It's a little bit harder, story's a little different, it's a director's cut kind of thing, I love that. I think it's brilliant that that got released, and it's amazing. At number six, it's the originals. It's Pokemon Red and Blue. Yeah, and I know they should be further up my list, but um... My list has changed recently and I've got other stuff up there that I really love so you'll hear why that's not further up my list. But you know, this was my childhood. I spent all my time as a little girl playing these games and I'm never going to forget them. They were a very big part of my childhood. I learned everything I needed to know about Pokemon at the time through that. I loved them. I knew every cry without even looking at my Game Boy. I loved my Game Boy colour, putting the big flipping magnifying glass on the top with the light so I can see what I'm doing. It was a really fun time. It was amazing. But number five, I'm actually going to put Pokemon X and Y into this. Yes I am because I'm putting it at midpoint because I believe this game is either going to skyrocket up to first place like it's going to it's going to be the most amazing thing in the world and it's going to blow us all out the water or it's going to disappoint us all a little bit and it's going to move off the top 10. I'm not sure, that's why I've put it midpoint, because I'm not sure where I want it to be at the moment. From what I've heard, sounds fantastic, sounds like I'm going to like it, but I, I can't be certain that I will. So, at number 4. Number 4 is a little shocking, actually. It's Pokemon Black and White 2. Unlawful XL will not believe that this is number four he will not at all because he thought I didn't like it but the reason I am putting it at number four because I love the fact the metal man the metal man is amazing I love anything I love anything where you can collect like achievements kind of thing I love Xbox for achievements I, I, I'm an achievement addict I love it so the fact that I can go around collecting little medals is saving my game more than five times and things like that is absolutely best thing ever and the fact, oh, the habitat list. Yes, <laughs> the habitat list. I love the habitat list because I get to go see what I've caught cool and what I haven't caught cool and there's stuff in there like I spend days looking for but eventually I'll get it and I'll feel the, I'll feel the success of completing that habitat list for every area. That's why it's number four. So now my top three. Number three is... The one and only Pokemon Stadium. Oh yes it is. It was always going to be in my top three. Whether it was first or second I wasn't sure. Um, third or second rather. Not first. Um, so yeah. Pokemon Stadium. What can I say? That game was everything to me when I was younger. I spent all my time playing it. When I wasn't out and about on the, on the um, Game Boy Color. I'd be at home with my cartridge pack in the back of Pokemon Stadium. With it on the screen. I, it was amazing, you know, I didn't need that stupid little magnifying glass, I could see it on TV and I had a controller and I loved it and that was, it was amazing. And the mini games! Oh my gosh, I love the mini games! I was mini games champion. Yeah. <laughs> number two. So number two is Pokemon Yellow Special Pikachu Edition. Yeah. 
I love this so much more than red and blue. This is why they didn't make it further up the list, because I love it so much more. The fact that you have a Pikachu following you, I know stuff follows you in other games. I don't care about them. I care about that Pikachu at that time in my life following me on a game. That I was mind blown when I was younger that the Pikachu was behind me and I could turn around and be like, Pika. You know, I'd be happy, but like, Pika, I love you, kind of thing. And it was like, wow. And I still, I still wow over it. I just, it's Pokemon Yellow. Enough said. But, number one. My all time favourite Pokemon game. I wonder if any of you can guess this. It's Pokemon Snap! Ah! <laughs> but though, any of you that watch my Let's Play on this, you'll know how crazy I am about Pokemon Snap. I love it. 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 The fact you can go around in a little cart taking pictures of these Pokemon and I can throw stuff at them. And I can throw the apple or throw the pesta ball and play my poker flute. And they wake up and start eating and they come out to come see me and I love it. And if you hit a Metapod and it hangs down in front of it, you can't all stop because you're hitting the Metapod. It's amazing. And then you take the pictures and you get like three Magmars in it. And Professor Oak is like, well done. And it, oh. I think everybody should love Pokemon Snap. Please, please, somebody make Pokemon Snap too. Please, I will buy it. Take my money. Take my money before the game started. I will invest in Pokemon Snap too. Please, we have to have this on the 3DS, please. I'd like that. 3DS, not we. It's what I want. <laughs> so, that is my Pokemon Top 10, guys. A lot of you probably won't agree with my list because, you know, a lot of people don't think like I do. But I absolutely love my list. These are my Top 10 favourite Pokemon games of all time and I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Bye!